Not yet. Not yet. Well, at least there's a big reason to watch the Broncos' third preseason game, assuming there's still no decision made in the quarterback battle, because as of now, there is still no decision made. Uh, we just want to do it at the right time, meaning the right time, obviously, for the players involved, for the team involved, and for everybody. And, um, you know, we don't play another game. What's today's date? 24th, right? The 12th. If there's 31 days in August, yeah, right? So that's 7 and 12, 19. We got 19 days. Uh, Mike joins <laughs> us now from the Cliss Cave. And Mike, do we expect a quarterback decision before this Ram game, Rams game? Or, I mean, right now I'm eyeing the calendar and I see there's a bye week in mid November, maybe by then? Have you ever been to a movie and after a couple hours you're ready for it to end? <laughs> And you, you think it's just about to end, and then all of a sudden another scene pops up and you got to sit through a little <laughs> bit more. Well, Vic Fangio could be the director of that movie. And that's what he is prolonging. This quarterback competition began in uh, mid May through OTAs, the mini camps, four weeks of training camp, two preseason games. Most people, not all, but most people seem to think Teddy Bridgewater has outperformed Drew Locke. Drew Locke has performed well, but Teddy's just been fantastic, and yet it carries on. Maybe he'll make the announcement tomorrow, the quarterbacks talk to the press tomorrow, uh, or it could happen uh, right before the Rams game. But, uh, yeah, you would think that they would want their starting quarterback to get with the first team for a couple weeks before that Giants game. You would think. Okay, Mike, thank you very much. We'll have much more on the Broncos coming up tonight at 9 and 10 o'clock. The third and final tune-up. Well, we may see both QBs again. Broncos Rams preseason finale at Mile High. Kickoff at 7. We'll get you started at 6 on Channel 20.